We're back at Araya's place where they're serving up delicious vegan Thai food to the people of Seattle. This was the first vegan Thai restaurant to open in the Northwest, and customers boast that it's the best. So you've uh, been coming here for a long time? Oh, almost 20 years. I've always thought vegetarian stuff was kind of bland, and this is fantastic. It's always really, really good. It's always really tasty, and everything is always consistent. You try to be different than the other uh, vegan Thai places. How, how do you manage to do that? Okay, so a lot of vegan places in the United States they try to put a lot of fake meat aspects in vegan food, but in our family, we try to focus on the fresh vegetables. Now we're hopping in the kitchen with the owner, Araya, to make some delicious potato curry. Araya says food is always better when it tastes and looks good, so we're going to make our potatoes look fancy. First, we peel them. It's a peeler that has like uh, some scores in yeah. it or something, right? Okay. Then once they're peeled, we slice them in half and cut designs in them. So we're gonna make kind of like a little bit of the flower things. I'm gonna make a flower out of a potato. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. <laughs> You're doing good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> then we're on to making the curry with Cherie's help. So we're gonna do our own um, Araya's signature potato curry, which is like a yes. muslin curry. First, we melt some coconut oil in a hot pan. You wanna stir the oil so it melts a little bit like this. And I've been tasked with crushing a few cloves of garlic. Pound away, right? Yeah, pound away, pound it Quickly. hard. Yeah. Quickly. Yeah. Quickly. We add our garlic to the coconut oil, followed by masaman curry paste, red curry, cumin powder, and coconut milk. Oh my See how pretty the color yeah. is? Once the coconut milk is stirred in, we add tamarind sauce, salt, and sugar. The Thai food is not like uh, baking something, so even Anyone said that you have to put this spoon, that spoon, you always have to taste it and you can and you add, add a whatever little bit you more. Right. That already looks good. Now so. we want to add the potato. The star of the show, the potato, the right? The star of the potato. <laughs> Washington potatoes. Then we throw in some tofu and homemade seitan as a meat substitute and some crushed Thai chilies. I got it. For you. He's going to show me how to do it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> I'm like, la 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 la. <laughs> Then we toss in cashews to the curry just before it's finished to add a little crunch. Other people usually use regular peanuts, but in our family we like cashews. Oh. All the food is not only tastes delicious, you make you have to make it look delicious too. Yeah, and and smell yeah. the different smells yeah. and now is ready this. That was fast. Yeah. That was fast. We scoop our curry onto the plate. It looks delicious and the color is yeah, gorgeous. Is gorgeous. Yeah. Then top it with roasted cinnamon sticks, star anise, a little more coconut milk, and some bay leaves for a garnish. Now it's done. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and finally, the moment I've been waiting for. Let's dig in. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Not bad, huh? <laughs> Not bad. No, it's excellent. <laughs> Thank you it is much. so lovely. It's delicious because of Washington potato. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Love it.